brake work? Brake was off. <laughs> Bro, it was so loud leaving my house the last couple days. That's gotta be addressed. It's what you call a real lock and nut. Whoa! That's it. They're scraping. We are literally scraping on this right here. We happen to have some Acubona ceramics laying around. Fixed. We just took the brake pads out. <laughs> All right, well, that's gonna wrap up today's video. We fixed the squeak after the storm on the TL. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> oh man, this channel, as of recently, we announced the turbo build, got everyone hyped for it, and then I went AFK on you guys. We had a little winter storm, iced over and stuff, didn't really do anything. Everything on order got delayed. The stuff showed up finally just a couple days ago. I still don't have intercooler or piping, and I'm, I'm missing a lot of things for the turbo setup. So uh, that, I just can't make anything on until stuff comes in. Big order from P2R right here that we're gonna go over real quick. What was I gonna say? Yeah, it was all icy and stuff. What else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, and then, and then on top of that, the power goes out at my place. Wi-Fi shuts down. I haven't been able to be on my PC for like two weeks now. I've been considering and bringing it here to the shop and using this Wi-Fi just so that I can edit videos and get content up because I can't do anything without Wi-Fi. For today's video, guys, we're gonna be installing this P2R EGR delete, but this is my valve cover seals from eBay. I'll put the part number or link down below if you guys wanna get that. Honda OEM. Then from P2R, we got new sparks and we also got new coil packs. For here we got the new thermal gasket for the intake. Here is the P2R timing kit. That is their tent in it right there. I've been really contemplating hiring someone to install this because I don't have a lift and the job is just not fun without a lift. I don't want to be laying on this cold concrete floor. But then I gotta ask myself, do I have the tools to get the job done? And I think I do. And then also, most shops would charge like 800 to 1200 for labor. Is my eight to 12 hours of labor that it will take to do the job worth 1200? At this point, I think so. So we're gonna attempt to do this job and film it the best I can for you guys. I should have done this a long time ago, but I just never considered it. Thankfully, this is a lot easier than a timing job. We're gonna remove this cover and it is right here. We will remove this OEM one and put on the P2R one. For anyone that's new to this channel, if you are wondering where the battery is at, I will show you on this car. This is what it looks like with the cover on. On the 3.2 liter, it's the exact same thing. This one's a 2006, but I have the battery in the front and it is the same thing. Two bolts on the EGR. You unplug this thing first and my battery has been routed to the back for room for the turbo. We did this a long time ago. All right, step one, unplug EGR. Battery's already unplugged. Um, I don't think that's a big deal, but unplug her and I'm just gonna leave it there. I ain't even gonna do nothing with it. I guess you can, you could tape it up if you want to, but I'm gonna leave it for right now. I'm kind of scared to do this because I'm about to expose my valve cover leak. Here we got two 12 millimeter little nuts on there. Take our EGR valve out. There's the OEM one. Make sure you guys take off the gasket. You guys see my valve cover leak right there? New kit comes with the plate, new gasket, and a new set of Allen bolts. So put a nut on backwards. Do the old twisteroo. A little tight in there, but it's coming out. Come on, buddy. All right, we got the red P2R cover going on. Gasket already on, and the washers go on top. All 
You know what, come to think of it, this is probably the cheapest thing to add horsepower on your car. I can't think of anything else. I mean, it's, it's only like three to five horsepower is what they say, but three to five horsepower is three to five horsepower. What do we think it is? An eight or seven or six. A six. First try. Alrighty guys, tight is the torque spec. Cover installed and exposing my valve cover leak, but uh, looks a lot cleaner. It actually really does. And I don't even, we'll probably, we'll end up taping this up somewhere along the line. But uh need you guys to comment some feedback for which color I should go with the valve covers. I'm thinking a wrinkle black and show you guys a step-by-step -step of how to do it by hand uh, with these covers. What do you guys think? I really want this engine bay when it's done to look real pretty, but also simple and subtle, just clean. I, I still gotta get the J37 intake manifold, so um, I haven't decided which way I'm going with that. Aftermarket pieces so far in here, we got the P2R delete, we have the innovative mounts, and if you look way back here, we got the hybrid racing shift cables that I wasn't allowed to make a video on because it was a testing of a new product, which I don't even know if they dropped yet. I didn't get any announcement, I just installed it and then I posted it on my story. Then they said, take it down, it's too early. And that was like a year ago. So, oh, and obviously you can see the intake. Look at this dusty girl. I'm sorry. Mm, mm, mm. Why is it dusty, you may ask? We are working on the trailer. Stuff is getting done over here, and we're filming along the way. Doing on the wells. <laughs> I'll show you guys how bad these wells are. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh man, I'm about to get toasted when this video drops. Any flames? Uh, no. Pretty cool. Dude, I can't see nothing. In more unboxing before we close off the video I don't know about you guys but I can hear that I'm getting tired I am tired I feel tired but I can't talk this ain't what I think thought it was I thought it was something else <laughs> gorilla my <Mind> protein <laughs> I know what this is so this looks better in person carbon fiber Backside, honeycomb carbon fiber. Why didn't you get the carbon weave, Deontay? Well, we did, and he sent them to my old address in Vancouver, and now they're gone because it's been so long. These will go on the Little Brothers TL soon, and we'll install together and make a vlog, so stay tuned for that. Fresh carbon fiber on Instagram, check them out. Fitment is decent. This will fit the 2004 to 2008 guys. And you'll see them again when we install them on my little brother's TL. That's gonna wrap it up, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the other installs. Now that stuff finally showed up, we can start making some more content. Stay tuned for it, guys. We'll see you shortly.